Young little miss who knows little bliss Can summon her sis from the depths of abyss Who gives not a kiss but a deadly hiss And frankly most helpful when totally pissed Thus I've a list how she could assist Consisting of nothing but absolute gist Number 1 Summoning Abigail can now be summoned as soon as Wendy jumps into the world and without murdering innocent critter. Also, long as she is in your sight, Abby can now be called back into her flower, conveniently bringing her in time of fight and taking her in time of flight. However, the sister brought too early into world can be quite fragile, and her health threshold increases over course of 3 days whether summoned or not. This will however reset if Abigail or Wendy falls in combat, so like always, try not to die. Since Abigail cannot be deader than she already is, she can indeed be called right away, but only as a broken spirit. So it's best to soothe the soul for a moment, give it enough time, and she'll be back good as new. Number 2, Fighting Lack of sacrificial ritual does not mean lack of bloodshed, since the flower can act as a switch to provoke Abigail's homicidal tendency to attack any mobs in vicinity, including their nest. Still, no command is required to get the ghostly girl to save the ghastly girl from getting hurt. Number 3, Attacking The amount of damage the ghost can deal depends on following two factors. Firstly, how many mobs she is fighting at once. While Abigail is known for her AoE attack, the blow is dispersed among multiple foes, thus damage is lesser when dealing more than one enemy. Secondly, how healthy Wendy is. The will to protect grows stronger as Wendy becomes weaker, going as far as dealing additional 40 damage when Wendy's health is at 1. Of course, this is definitely not the best condition to be maintaining, especially when Wendy's basically a walking toothpick. Number 4, Doping Wendy's knowledge in ectoherbology allows her to craft various concoctions to boost Abigail's chance in combat. Revenant Restorative accelerates Abigail's healing factor. Spectral Cure All is another healing potion, but more effective over a very short period of time. Unyielding Draught gives effects similar to Thulesi Crown, but lasting only for split seconds, thus only effective against mobs attacking in tandem, rather than single mob. Distilled Vengeance makes sure the opponents pay for their violence unless attacking from afar. Chloric Tonic increases Abigail's feistiness. And finally, Vigor Mortis helps your sister to catch up, though I must say it could be cheaper to just carry her. Still, it works like a charm if going after quick scoundrels like Mr. McTusk. All these potions require Morning Glory, a plant you'll discover by assisting Peep Spook on its journey to find lost toys. The lost soul found on Random Grave will flow towards the general direction of where you must head to, and the halo above its head will grow bigger and bigger if you are closer to the destination. From this quest, you may get several Morning Glories to whip out some juice for the dead. Another craftable that strengthens this haunted bond is Cistern, a structure quite easy to build. When filled with four petals, it relaxes your mind like Walrus Hat and Abigail shall reach maximum health upgrade four times faster than usual. Who knew remains of dead girl could be so pleasing? And now the trivia. Losing Abigail or calling her back into flower will deduct sanity, but can be restored moment she is brought back out. The flower of your sister can be crafted now and then thrown into fire, you monster. Having a ghost sister, Wendy is quite familiar with spectral entities, thus no damage is taken and no sanity is drained, long as she behaves that is. Though adorable, Peep Spook still spooks the heck out of players other than Wendy, so best not keep it as a pet. Vigor Mortis grants other dead players speed boost, but only for a few seconds. Wendy can still get rid of her sister by a single smack. Unfortunately, this resets Abigail's stats, so even by accident, don't fist your sister. If your world allows combat between players, Abigail will attack Weber and Warthog standing too close. That's right, the whitest character hates those who are colored. And that is the end of this video, and instead of regular farewell, I'd like to show you a rhyme I wrote for Pity Pit, a game developed by Panda Studio who was kind enough to send me a copy. 
Evil Satan stole your maiden, try to fight for what's been taken. Beast of pagan, rapid caven, tis no journey for the craven. So grab your pick and guard your prick. Go smash all bricks for quicker picks, for better kicks to devil tricks. With will to hit and never quit, you may outwit in devil's pit. Nostalgic trip costs only bits, it's all for miss with pixel tits.